<clears throat> oh, hello. Hold on. Sorry, I was missing half of my uh, <laughs> half of my stuff. <laughs> Let's take a look. When it left me, but you never really leave me. No matter what. Yeah, I've got some time today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play some more contrast. Contrast, contrast. Whatever you want to say. But I tried not to dream about you. When it left me, but you never really leave me. Alrighty. No matter. Sorry, I was just uh Wrapping up a conversation on Discord. We've been having like a bunch of conversations talking about like Avatar, Legend of Korra, talking about all sorts of good stuff. But anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, it's been, honestly, it's been one of those games that kind of just casually takes up free rent in my head. One of those games that like, I'm not addicted to it, so I'm not gonna like just burn through it super fast. But it's also one of those of like, you know, I do wanna play some more. Vincenzo's going to a secret workshop. I can finally talk to him all alone. But where is it? Do you think he would ever take me with him? Vincenzo. You know, when he travels all around the world. Does he travel around the world? Well, yeah, I had some free time today, so uh, I wanted to, you know, play some chill games. So, decided to launch this up this evening. I'm getting a couch. Now we go this so that's way. cool. Follow me. Got a buddy who works for a piano store that he's going to use the piano store's truck to bring the couch over. It's It all works out. It all comes together in the end. It's pretty dope. Hey, why can't I? There we go. I know she wants me to follow her and all, but, like, I want to explore and try and find more of the luminaries. Again, that's the problem, man. You uh, you introduced to me the the existence of collectibles and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Gotta fucking catch them all. What was this? Is this nothing? I'm guessing this will be a place I come to later. Oh, that's an invisible wall. That's kind of annoying. I wish I would be able to loop right around there. That's all good. It looks like her skeleton when I do that. It looks like you can see her spine. Like, it's hard to see because obviously she's moving quickly. Let's see if I can kind of... Kind of... Like, sometimes it kind of looks like you can see her skeleton, but I think it's supposed to be, like, her dress or whatever, or the corset. Excuse me, mister. I don't know. Do you know where Mr. Vincenzo's workshop is? Yep. Everybody knows where it is. It's by the big clock tower. You can't miss it. But good luck getting inside. No one's ever been. Thank you. Come on! What if I don't want to follow Dee Dee? What if Dee Dee's a doo-doo head? Yo, a Tesla coil. That's dope. Bunch of crystal balls all over the place? It's interesting. Just trying to make sure I don't miss any of the um, luminaries. I don't know where she went. I'm gonna guess this way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's one. See? A four. See, I should be able to break through that. Whoa. Hey look, we got inside. Oh no, we just missed him. A oh, Vincenzo's amazing the solar machine. I hope you brought some luminaries with you. Oops. Uh where does this go? 
mean, I'm assuming it has a spot somewhere in this, uh, like, observatory thing. What do they call them? Planetariums? I don't remember. Alright, how many does this need? Need one more. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny. It's my family. Train wreck. It's not just gonna be you and the train this time. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. I promise. I've missed you so much. I need him to fuck. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Shit. Maybe I need my family. To no. Johnny, if this is another train wreck, it's not just going to be you and the train this time. I'm not going to let Okay, it maybe. Oh. I've missed you so much. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. It's about family. Oh, fuck! If this is another train wreck, it's not just gonna be you and the train this time. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. Oh my gosh! So much. Ah! He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe Guys, I think he's in pretty deep with some first. bad people. Fuck! Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny, if this is another train wreck, it's not just gonna be you and the train this Damn it! Time. Okay, see, I... Um... I've missed you so much. Am I missing something here? Like, because I know there's the shadow from that thing, but that's not enough to get me all the way across. Is it? Holy shit, He's is it? Pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good with my family. Fuck! Maybe Cunt! Family good. Johnny. Fucking it's cocksuckers! It's not just gonna be you and the train this time. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. I promise. I've missed you so much. Oh, I bounced off the window, you slut! Oh, you infuriating slut. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Maybe I need my family to make good. Oh, Johnny. Oh, put it in me, Johnny. I'm not gonna let it wreck this time. Fuck. Alright, I don't know. I don't think that's the correct path at this point. Here's one. Just chilling. Freebie. I feel like there should be a thing here so I can get across. I want to get that luminary. And it looks like I'm supposed to get it from this angle. But I don't know how to get up onto that ledge there. Don't mind the fucking wild spin. SPEEN! Fucking camera angles just whipping around. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's wonderful to watch. See, like, I need an intermediate step here. I need, like, a ramp or, like, some sort of a shadow thing here. I don't even see- because, like, there's this light here. But obviously it's not bright enough. Okay, so now we've got this. Where'd the ball go? Oh, there it is. Get into secret workshop. Whoa. 
Okay, so it looks like there's not one in this last one here. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Yo! Oh, yo. Hang on. Damn. Oh, jeezed it. Fuck. Oh, so when it said you can go through thin objects, thin shadows, it's uh, not super picky, is it? Hmm. Oh, that's how we get out to that balcony. Hello? Um, hello? Let me take the thing. Clutch. Mm. I mean, it looks like I'm supposed to put this... Shift into what? What did I shift into? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh, this tube has no collision. <laughs> Phenomenal. Wait, what is this? Okay, so where does the tube start from? Okay, so it starts from up there. Uh, pretty slick, Shane. How do I get up here, though? Music kind of wails. Like it's simple, but it's good. Oh wait, that no, that's not a ball. What that is, some sort of a tarp. See, cause like when I'm not in shadows, I can just jump up here, no problem. That's what, what? Oh, that's just the tube for the ball. Oh, do I bring the ball up here somehow? Yeah, I bet I do. Like that. All right, let's let's kind of rotate this around. Let's see what's what. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, there's a fucking like a a person or something there. I got confused, confuzzled. See, I kind of need one of these to make a ramp. Very nice and simple. And that seems like that's about as close as it's gonna get. But I'm not gonna be able to make that work. Not while holding the ball.
don't know. See, the one with the rings there, I don't think that would be helpful because I'm not going to be able to walk through those rings. You got to remember, I'm going to be doing this while holding on to that metal ball, you know, so. I'm trying to see now if there's some sort of an interaction between some of the shadows that maybe have to line up, or what. Let me just see what this is. And again, it's just all this stuff that I would have to, uh, I'd have to dash and jump and all this garbage, which isn't going to work when I'm hanging onto that ball. Unless I can set the ball on something and have it get flipped up there for me. It might work. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and kind of like jank this a little bit on purpose. Okay, drop that there. Ah! Seems to be a fixed speed. Hmm. And I can see why nobody's ever gotten in. Apparently, this game came out nearly 10 years ago. I don't know, I'd never heard of it. Like, pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so entertaining. I don't even know exactly what the goal was there for me. Oh, cool, I'm stuck. Oh, very cool, hang on. There we go. Yeah, 
would be better if the music actually lined up with the timing of the shadows and everything. I see a luminary. Oh, I definitely have to get over there. <sighs> How am I gonna do this? This music's actually pretty catchy. Hmm. Uh. What happens if I just... Oh, come on. I had, like, some stank going on there. Yeah, that's that's the shit that I'm talking about. Look at that, I'm standing on nothing. That's what's up. Come on. Oof. Yo! Hang on, that might be something. lost, man. You see, brain not always brain good bestest. I wonder if it is that one. Oh, because that would just shove it aside. What if it's the dude in that ball? Let me go take a look at this dude. Was that like Ares or something? Or was the Greek messenger guy? Doesn't look like there's anything I can directly interact with here. What's carved on this? I guess that's just a globe. Yeah, yeah, it's dank. Hmm. Camera angle gets a little bit funky sometimes. Ah. Yeah, I can I can kind of understand part of why this game didn't really take off very much, uh, just because there is some there's a bit of quirkiness to the controls. It's not exactly good, like. Uh, 
I'm actually pretty lost right now. Like, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Wait, what is this? Ah. Uh. Little girls, you have any ideas? Because I am fucking stumped. Maybe there's a clue somewhere around here. Doesn't seem to be. Unless it's, what, horns and then like a seahorse? So maybe it's got to be like that. Is there... I don't think there are anything. Or there, I don't think there is anything like that. Some cats. Oh, that's a bit spinning. Or is that just some, like, graphical stank? I'll try spinning. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm getting actually quite stuck. Hmm. I might honestly have to uh, look up a guide. Wait, there's a cool. So my controller just like stopped working <laughs> I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually look up a guide because I'm I'm properly stuffed uh, stuck contrast uh, game walk through act three hey, hey listen Solar machine, here we go. Vincenzo's going to a secret workshop. I can finally talk to him all alone. But where is it? Do you think he would ever take me with him? Vincenzo. You know, Shallow right when he travels the right all side of the world? screen. Sorry, kid, I wasn't really planet with multiple rune moons but no okay so hang on so a shallow ramp yeah yeah so it sounds like I was basically on the right idea okay so I had the right idea 100% so I was doing the right thing I just didn't now do it right way. I wonder if I have to go get the luminaries again. Oh, there's nothing over there, I remember. Excuse me, mister. Do you know where Mr. Bitch has... Come on! I want to skip that because we already saw that. Hey! Listen! Oh, there's a whole area back here. Kind of a whole area back here, like there's scaffolding and shit, but nothing to do. Uh, there's no platform.
there's a small platform there, but then there's nowhere to go from there. Where'd she go? This way? This way! Yep, so yeah, all the luminaries have reset. Okay. Alright, kid. Open the door. Peace! This is a big mechanism. I hope you brought some luminaries it's with you. a mechanism. Okay, so I was 100% on the right path. I just didn't quite finish it out properly. Just the ball. And then I gotta hurry back to the controls. Lift it up. Think. See, so I was a hundred percent on the right path. I just didn't follow through all the way. Dang. Stanky. That. Yeah. Oh, that's not a luminary. That's just a fucking spotlight. What's up, Vincenzo, you slut? I guess I haven't found him yet. Is she going down the stairs like rapidly? Hang on. Let me listen to this. Yeah, she does. She changes her walk or run animation. That's interesting. I love how every game has the same noise for when you're running on metal. I mean, think about it Half Life, uh, Beyond Good and Evil, Prey. They all use that noise. This noise right here is the character running on metal noise in every game ever. <laughs> what do we get here? Uh, just something about lights. Hmm. Sounds like a shopping cart. Something like this. Hang on. Because those pieces need to be like that. Oh, hang on. Maybe like that. Hang on, how do I jump on the... Oh my goodness. I can bring it all the way around? That uh, shadow in the far wall kind of looks like a person that's been impaled. This is my light now. 
I'm taking this. See, because I feel like it shouldn't, the gears shouldn't be that big, but... <sighs> like, that's gonna... Oh! That was lucky. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, getting away with stank. Yeah! Oh, that was clutch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Let me take a look and see if there's anything else for me here, though, first. Thanks for the ride. Yo. Something about perception, I guess. I'm not really sure. What? Yes, all this thinking is making me tired. Alright, that was pretty sick. <laughs> in the shadows. What are you doing here? Who are you? How did you get in? Uh, the big clock. You went through the clockwork? How? Who are you with? It's a puzzle, right? It's meant to keep strangers out. It's a very good puzzle. Not good enough, apparently. But I'm hmm? not a stranger. I'm Dee Dee. Dee Melancholia. Oh. Your mother put you up to this, didn't she? She thinks I'm doing my homework. I wanted to meet you. I didn't ask for a child, all right? You didn't want a child? What would I do with one? Hmm? I'm a busy man. My apparatuses are precise. They take months to hone. H how would I have the time? That is what <clears throat> I told her. I'm sorry. I travel. 
I'm going on tour for six months. Budapest, Istanbul, Calcutta, Shanghai. I dine out with dukes and gangsters. But, but I could help you with your apparatuses. I'm good with puzzles. You could train me. I won't be any trouble. You broke my left-handed induction coil. That took me a week to tune. I'm sorry. I told your mother all of this years ago. What is her phone number? <gasps> Okay, see? This is what I'm talking about. This is what I can't have. Your mother cried every week. <laughs> Your mother cried every week. Damn! Better off with Kat. A little girl should Wait. be with her mother. Oh. Okay. All right. Do you want to come to see my show? No! Well, here's two tickets in case you change your mind. Okay. Let's get Kat on the phone. Hmm? This is weird. Weird. Achievement unlocked. How'd you get in? Adapt. Improvise. Overcome. I don't know how to get that other luminary, and I didn't even see the fourth one. Oh, uh, maybe this is different now? He's in pretty deep with some bad people. Nope, deep. he's not. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, John? Um, maybe I'm no good oh, I, I, I can't shift in? Maybe I need my family Damn. Listen to my powers, man. game is very strange and I'm curious to see if we get any sort of actual like solid resolution Yo. I know where the fourth one is I just don't know how to get to it wait a second I wasn't open before look at the stage I bet I can actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Oh, okay. I was trying to see if I could jump down there again. Oof. Really? Really? Ah, here we go. What do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm oh, hey, it's secretaries us. Secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk uh, to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just need him. Just wanted... And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's <laughs> Theater of the Unreal. I knew it. I knew this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it. I got it. They're getting antsy. They're gonna want their money back. If you give them their money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I love how I'm just, just standing there just like... Find a spare ball. Fuse. Something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this one too. <laughs> the player characters just standing there, just like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We need to light up the stage somehow. Hmm. To the lighthouse. Oh. It's the mother of all us. Yeah. Plot twist. We're actually we've actually been a moth this whole time. That's why the whole thing, the fascination with light. Yo. This is a weird lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. I think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it. She's gonna fucking electrocute herself. Or not? Um.
Okay, but how do I get in? Nope, still an invisible wall there. Oh. Yo! A laser? Oh, I'm fucking in. Hang on. So... Just trying to see if I could, uh... Get it to glitch down again, because I think I glitched it down and then unfortunately unglitched it down. So if I'm somebody who, like, operates in the shadows, what happens if I jump through the fucking light beam? Do I just get vaporized? Nope. Well. Interesting. Wait. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, hang on. So it was just already on the point that I needed it to be on. Okay, but how do I... Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on, let's see, so... What can cast a shadow around here? Can I just... No? I'm trying to see what... Like, what am I supposed to do with this... At this particular time, you know what I'm saying? Like... So, uh, what happens if, um, you know, <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm like, oops. See, because obviously that's so I can, you know, think, do that. I need... What do I need? I'm terribly confused. It seems like I need that box to hold this switch, but I can't get to that box consistently. Whoops, fuck. That was just me not paying attention. Wait, that has sparklies on it. Something I can interact with? Or is that just to show that that's where the laser goes? Probably to show that's where the laser goes.
I am very lost. Also, why can't we bring the girl in here? Oh. Iron doors. What do I need? F what do I need to do with the light? I mean, there's something with this box. Let's just angle the light over here for now. I mean, I can't even jump up. Wait. Okay. Yo! Okay, that was cool. I'm gonna need this for something. I'm guessing something over this way. Yeah, buddy. First try. Uh oh. It's itching my head. Picture of a girl's shadow beside a woman walking down the sidewalk. Hey. Nice. Nice. This is really weird. Dee Dee. Hang on. There's Dee Dee's name. Her parents. There's Dawn in here, I wonder. Received exorcism. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't see Dawn's name in here anywhere. This is really interesting. See, this is becoming... Like, now we're getting, like, lore and stuff. Like, this is kind of more of what I wanted to see. Missing illusionist. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to pick it up. I'm starting to pick it up.
Shadow Dimension's effect on the world. Yeah, now we're getting it. I wish I could zoom in. Oh, I did miss some stuff, though. I missed two things? Dang. When I started seeing all the stuff about light and vision and stuff, I was hoping I would, uh... I was hoping we would get to this. Very muscular man casting a shadow, okay. More shadow. See, this is cool. It's like the newspaper or whatever I saw earlier was also asking, it's like, you know, is it possible to uh, shift between? The music is getting really incredible. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff up there. <laughs> it was all one world. There's like a line in the sky out there. This is really cool. Enzo and Dawn. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Achievement on my bookkeeper. Discovered all the collectibles in Act 3. So literally through the whole game, I missed one. Oh, that's going to bother me. So that was Dawn. And that's me. Wow. This... Wow. This went a direction I was not expecting, I have to say. Okay, how do I keep that open? What's exploding? It's like some sort of a huge discharge. So this is going to release Dawn from the Shadow World, isn't it? 
I hope so. Whoa, this is... This got freaking awesome, dude. One at a time. Okay. Okay, so you can only have one at a time. just open now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we just do what we did before. Probably carry that up, right? Just gonna bring this up. Nice! I'm getting really excited because we're like coming up on the end of the game. And like we're learning about Dawn and... Okay, I'm gonna have to move, just walk this over to here for a sec. I gotta put it in shadow anyway. Like we're actually gonna learn where Dawn came from and... Maybe even, like, get her back to being real, or whatever the fuck is going on? Nice! Oh my gosh, it's coming together, I'm getting really excited. Got them sick coins. <laughs> I fucking immediately jumps into the void. I was trying to, like, shift in there before I fell. Fuck! I think I shifted in, but then immediately shifted out. <sighs> this probably isn't the correct strategy. Hmm. 
Fuck, I had it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I don't think this is where I was supposed to go, but I wanted to try it because it looked neat. Where's this light even coming from? Okay, it's just magic. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> you think you're gonna jitterbug your way back into our lives with a lot of sweet talk? That's the past. Can't have changed. This is really good. I believe you, Johnny. Your lips are moving. Fucking whiffed it on the ending there. You're not even a real father. What is so much? I missed you too, honey. What is this? <gasps> cool, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Gotta be the end of the game, right? Certainly seems like it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. I got the lights on. We'll talk about this after. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein tells us that our universe may not be the only one. There may be infinite others, each slightly different from ours. But our dreams in our world may be reality in those. To citizens of these other worlds, we are shadows. <sighs> this appears to you to be an ordinary box, but it is actually what we call a tesseract or an octocoron. Suppose I open it, not in the three dimensions we live in, but along its fourth dimension. I can take out surprising things, things that are familiar and yet strange.
But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. What you don't know can hurt you. But what frightens you can also turn into something of surpassing beauty if you only understand it. What? Thank you. Thank you very Sorry, much. Sorry, he just impaled a dude Goodbye. and mutilated him and then was like, yeah, check it out. It's fucking pretty. <laughs> Okay, so obviously something went wrong in one of their shows or practices and Dawn got trapped in the shadow world. But how did Dee Dee get into the shadow world? So we're obviously in the shadow world is what this actually is. But how is Dee Dee in the shadow world? That's what I want to know. What are you up to, Julie? You're up to something, aren't you? I tried, Kat. I really tried. Mom was right. I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. What is with you? Without you, I'd be in the river. But it worked out, Daddy. I nearly got you hurt, kiddo. You would have saved me if I needed it. Interesting. Enjoy the show. I want you to meet the little girl who turned the lights back on. You made the lighthouse work? I fixed the puppet show, too. And the pirate ship. You fixed the pirate ship? It was only a little broken. See? She's almost as smart as you. Of course, she's brave, too. What's that supposed to mean? That you're rich, famous, and afraid of a little girl. What would you have me do, Mr. Fenris? Take her on my world tour, take her to Shanghai and Istanbul and those other filthy and dangerous cities as some sort of apprentice? Is is that what you came here to propose? Daddy, I no! Know. Hmm. I don't know, just... Dee Dee deserves better. They both deserve better. They need you. I think they need you. Me? I'm a walking calamity. No, Daddy, we You need risked you. your life to be with them. Johnny, what did you do? He nearly got himself killed to get you back. I wouldn't do that for anybody. But I'm just gonna keep screwing up. I can help you fix things. Would you take me back? For good? Oh, Johnny. Yay! Would you like to see my workshop? Again? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you get to Shanghai on your own steam. But how? Oh, you'll figure something out. After all, you are my daughter. How'd you do Yo. that? I thought only Dawn could do that. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Thanks for taking care of Didi. No, what? No, oh, no way. What? Oh, fuck. When it left me. What? That was the end? Really me. Oh my gosh. No matter oh, that was I mental. Do, what? Oh my goodness. I don't mind when I dream what? Dude, we got to the end. We got... Oh my gosh. Not to dream about you. I... Well, I'm blown away. Like, okay, so we got to the ending and we finally started getting some background about Dawn and like who she is and where she's from and all that stuff. And then we kind of get some hints. It seems like maybe Dee Dee's trapped in the shadow realm with us, right? And it seems like the magician was like working, working, working to try and reach the shadow realm to save Dawn or get Dawn back or whatever. Excuse me, right? And then we finally get to the end, and he comes through to the shadow world. Left me. And then that's it? That's the end of the game? But you never really leave what? No matter like, are you kidding me? What I do, 
Oh my gosh, dude. I, I, I don't know if I'm upset or if I'm blown away or both. Or what? Like, that was mental. I did not expect it. And then it fucking ended right there. Just done. Just done. Like, oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's mental. This is a good game. So that was surprisingly good. It was only a few hours long. It was maybe four hours long. And I mean, really, if, you, if you're not dumb, uh, probably about three hours long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, though. I can't believe it. We finally get towards the ending and like learning. It's like, oh. He had been like, <sighs> Oh my gosh. Like, she must have gotten trapped in the shadow world at some point by accident, I'm guessing. And just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, damn. Oh, Unreal Engine. That's why I used that standard metal, like walking on metal sound. But dang, man, that was good. That was really good. No matter. Wow. Well done, man. Well done. That was good. That was a good game. I mean, I enjoyed that quite a lot. I dropped my controller there at the very end. <laughs> uh, I'm just really upset I missed one. I missed one collectible. Like... Dang. Sorry. I uh, didn't realize that opening up the achievements would pause the game. No matter what Oh my goodness. I can't I can't believe I that ending. Like that was mental. I just he casually just switches over to the shadow realm. Like has he known how to do that this whole time? Like was he there for Didi? Was he there for Dawn? Like is Didi trapped in the shadow world? Is I mean it seems like Dawn is trapped in the shadow world, but she's also able to pop back and forth. Is everyone else trapped in the shadow world? Did he create some sort of a like machine that accidentally sucked everyone into the shadow world and they're trapped there and like he's the one trying to figure out how to bring everyone back like who's on which side of the what you know like it's it's bonkers man it's bonkers and that's the kind of stuff i'm like i was looking forward to getting to some of those resolutions and then it just ends and i'm like you gotta be kidding me man like that is nuts oh dude oh my gosh oh yeah, I got, I got, I got worked up there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not expecting it to just all of a sudden just end. I mean, it didn't seem like a very story heavy game. And so when we started getting some elements of story, I got really excited because I was like, oh yeah, we're going to finally get into the guts of it. I'm like, I know we're coming up onto the end of the game. That's fine. Like, it's fine that they held out because it's not like a super long game. So it's not like this whole time I'm going through just like, a, oh, it's just a puzzle game with no story. It was like... You know, because some of these questions I had earlier, you know, uh, a couple streams ago, I was like, you know, who is Dawn? Where is she from? Why is Dee Dee the only one that can see her? And I mean, I guess if Dawn and Dee Dee are the only ones trapped in the shadow, how did Dee Dee get trapped in the shadow realm? Like, how did this happen? Ah, I gotta look up real quick. I gotta see if there's a second one. Let me let me take a look. Uh, contrast game two. Let's see. So from Compulsion Games, it's on their website here. About the game, blah blah blah. But you never really leave me. Mash up in the nineteen twenties, nineteen forties. Yep. <laughs> Here's, here's somebody's review of it. Uh, oops. Uh, here's somebody's review of it. This is rather funny. It's as if Limbo and Bioshock Infinite had a baby while watching Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> uh, let's see. Three to four hours. Da, da, da. Storyline. Okay, the storyline is you play as Dawn, the imaginary friend of a little girl, Dee Dee. Dee Dee is the child of a single mother whose father has abandoned the family. You must use his shadow powers, blah, 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 blah. I 
I don't know, man. It just... Like, there doesn't seem to be much more. When it left me. You know? But, I don't know. That was that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to play this game. Uh, I picked it up for free. No it was on the, the Xbox. The, the... What do they call it? The Game Pass stuff. Um, I don't mind and, you know, honestly, streaming from the Xbox worked out pretty well. So, there's a chance that I might stream some other games from my Xbox. I haven't decided. Uh, we'll see. You know? Because I tended to just play Xbox games just to be able to chill and just relax. Um, but if this continues to work out pretty well, then why not, right? So, I don't know. But I think uh, that'll probably do it for today. So, I'm going to wrap up here. So for everyone that joined me, as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.